Okay, so today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. And a polynomial is this expression right here. And it's an expression that contains variables with different sorts of powers. So this is not a polynomial. It's anything with a degree higher or equal to 2. So when we add or subtract polynomials, what we're going to use is our knowledge of combining like terms. Because you can't combine unlike terms. And these parentheses, when we add and subtract them, they don't really matter. Um, I know that sounds kind of crazy because when we learn order of operations, parentheses matter a lot. But when we're just talking about adding and subtracting polynomials, it doesn't, because these are just expressions, they're not equations that we're trying to find an answer to. So what we're going to do is first we're going to rewrite this. And what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this positive 1 to each one of these terms. And we're going to drop the parentheses on both polynomials. So this is x cubed plus 2x squared plus 8x. That part stays the same. And this is plus 2x. And positive times negative st stays negative. 3x squared. This also stays negative. 3x cubed. And now what we're going to do is you can do two different things. And it just depends on what you prefer better. You can write it in descending order. So you have your highest power, and then we're going to bring this one over, and then your next highest power. If you want to rewrite it before you combine your like terms, that's fine. You don't have to. I personally don't, but it really doesn't matter what you do. So x cubed minus x cubed is 0, so those are going to go away. 2x squared minus 3x squared is going to give us a negative x squared, and 8x plus 2x is going to give us a positive 10x. So that's all you have to do. It's really just distribution and combining like terms. So we're going to do some examples now. Okay. So this time we have a negative. So it's really, really important that we distribute that negative because if you forget, you're going to end up maybe adding some things that you're not supposed to or subtracting some things that you're not supposed to. So we're going to copy the first part. That stays the same. And when we take negative 1, because remember there's an understood 1 right there, times x, we're going to get negative x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is going to give us a positive 1. So then we're going to combine our like terms. 4x plus a negative x is going to give us 3x, and 2 plus 1 is going to give us 3. Now, if you remember, when I introduced these, I said that they're an expression. And an expression is just what we call something that doesn't have an equal sign. Because if, it, if this said equals 9, then that would be an equation. But when it doesn't have an equals, it's called an expression. Just in case you see that on homework or any other kind of worksheets that you do at home, I want, I want you to know that that's all it means. So we're going to do the same thing down here, distribute this negative. And that's really the most important part is that if you have a negative, or even if, say, you had like a 2 right here, you'd have to multiply it all out so that you don't add or subtract incorrectly. So negative 2y squared plus 8 and that 2 is not supposed to be there. Negative 1 times 3y squared is going to give us negative 3y squared. Negative times negative is going to give us positive 4y. And a negative times a negative is going to give us a positive 6. Now we're going to combine our terms. Negative 2y squared minus 3y squared is going to give us a negative 5y squared. 
and then we have a plus 4y because this there's nothing else with a y in it and then we have 8 plus 6 so plus 14 so if you notice right here there this is 8 minus and there's a positive over here and you might not understand why I added 6 instead of subtracting 6 but remember when we did some basic algebra and we said that this is the same thing as adding a negative well that negative stays on that 3 it doesn't go with the 6 so you that's you really have to make sure that you pay attention to your signs because that'll mess up what you get as a final answer we have one more so we have this part is going to stay the same. We're going to distribute that negative. Negative 6x plus 8y minus 11. Now this time we have more than one variable. But that really doesn't change anything because we're still going to combine like terms like we normally would. So 7y plus 8y is 15y plus 4x minus 6x is negative 2x and 9 minus 11 is negative 2. So that's all we're going to do with polynomials today but make sure you come back and watch our next lesson where we're going to talk about multiplying a polynomial by a monomial.